is about photography in today's video, but instead of which form captures the best images, we are having some apps to further improve the experience on smartphone photography for every single one of you. Our full review on the Pixel XL has already proven it is one of the best low-light camera phone. One of the because it shoots the brightest and the most saturated photos in extreme low-light scenarios. However, digital noise control might not be ideal. It doesn't shoot the sharpest images in the world, too. Hello everyone, I'm Ray. I'm here to introduce an app, well actually three, to get even better images out of the same phone. And everyone could do the same, no matter which phone you're using. So these are the three all-new apps from Adobe. Photoshop Express, Lightroom, and Premiere Clip. If you're really serious on smartphone photography, the camera app built in the Lightroom app provides tons of professional settings. If you find the Pixel XL or some other phones do not have enough camera settings for you to get a decent low-light shot, raw capability is now just a click away in DNG format. And there's the professional mode. With manual controls over the shutter speed and the ISO, Slow shutter speed with ISO under 400 will definitely boost the experience on smartphone photography. Recent flagships including the Pixel XL might not need it to capture some really great low-light scenes photos. But normally for smartphones with tiny sensors, those manual controls become crucial. Alright, the digital noise, very common for smartphone cameras. We can now use Photoshop Express to clear them all. Certainly we will have loads of filters, much more than Instagram, but I'm really not into those filters. Instead, the dedicated noise reduction settings terrific. Around 40 to 60, the images become noise-free, but still natural. They do look a bit softer with the effect turned on, but we can go back and select sharpness. 20 to 40 gives sharp enough objects, but not over-sharpened. We can also adjust the color temperature, clarity, and contrast, and more. So we can turn photos like these to these. Last but certainly not least, Premiere Clip. It is a trimmed down, slim and light mobile version, not necessarily designed for heavy duty video editing stuffs. Joining video clips and adding background music with synchronization are nothing new, but they do give us settings to control the exposure and even the highlights and shadows. This is undoubtedly handy and also gives us more flexible video shooting experience and those filters are mind-blowing. It really takes time for me to choose the best out of those dozens of selections. So here's a video clip created using Premiere Clip. Enjoy! So there we have it, those professional camera settings from Lightroom. Together with those handy features, especially noise reduction on Photoshop, and finally an easy to use and filters packed Premiere Clip. Hope you all enjoyed watching this video and discovered more on smartphone photography. Drop a like if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe. Once again, this is Ray. See you next time.